Okay, so narito na tayo sa ating last quarter para sa school year 2020-2021. So, for the week 1, nasa lesson number 2 na tayo ng ating fourth quarter. So, ang topic natin para sa week na to is about Triangle Inequality Theorem. So, at the end of the discussion or the session, you will be able to illustrate Triangle Inequality Theorem. So, remember this theorem. The sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. The sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. So, we have side AB plus side BC is greater than the third side, which is side AC. Or, side AC plus side BC is greater than side AB. AB or the length of the side AB plus the length of the side AC is greater than the length of the side BC. Let's have example. Tell whether 7, 6, and 9 are possible length of the sides of a triangle. So we have side AB whose length is 6, side BC whose length is 7, and side AC whose length is 9. Let's start with the first one. Side or the length of the side AB plus the length of the side BC must be greater than the length of the side AC. So if the length of the side AB is 6 and the length of the side BC is 7, getting the sum is 13. And the length of the side AC is 9. So let's take a look. So 6 plus 7 is greater than 9. 6 plus 7 is 13, which is greater than 9. So that is true. Next, let's have side AC, the length of the side AC plus the length of the side BC is greater than the length of the side AB. So the length of the side AC is 9 plus the length of the side BC is 7. They, uh, the sum must be greater than the length of side AB, which is 6. So 9 plus 7, which is 16. And 16 is greater than 6. This is correct. Now for the third, let's say uh, side AB, the length of the side AB plus the length of the side AC is greater than the length of the side BC. So we have 6 plus 9 is greater than 7. It is also correct. So from this, we can now say that Yes, it is possible to form a triangle out of these lengths. Example 2. Can we draw a triangle whose, whose sides measure 1 cm, 7 cm, and 5 cm? Let's see. So, remember that the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. So, let's start with uh, the length of AB plus the length of BC is greater than AC. So, 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. And 6, is it greater than 7? No. Okay. How about the second one? Let's have uh, the length of AC plus the length of BC is greater than the length of AB. So we have 7 plus 5 is greater than 1. 7 plus 5 is 12, and 12 is greater than 1. 
this is correct. And for the last, side AB plus side AC, we are referring to the length, is greater than the length of the side BC. So 1 plus 7 is greater than 5. And this is also correct. From this, we can now say that since meron tayong nag-x dito, one of the conditions must be uh, uh, that the sum of the length of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. We can now say that the measures given 1 cm, 7 cm, 5 cm is not possible. Okay, so this will be look like the figure. Ayan. So, ganyan po yung magiging ng ating uh, drawing. So, hindi siya makakabuo ng triangle out of these measurements. We can also determine the possible range of the length of the third side of a triangle given the two sides. The length of the third side of a triangle must be less than the sum of the lengths of the other two sides. Take note, the length of the third side of a triangle must be less than the sum of the lengths of the other sides. The length of the third side of a triangle must be greater than the absolute value of the difference of the lengths of the other two sides. Okay, so let's do practice. In triangle ABC, AB is equal to 8 and AC is equal to 4. What is the range of the possible length of the third side of segment BC? So, we have this one. Side AB is 8. Side AC is 4. What would be the possible length of the side BC? So, the x, we refer or gumamit tayo ng variable x to represent the possible length of the third side. So, let's say the smallest value of x will be the length of the BC. And for this, we can now, again, the possible, uh, we can now get the possible length of the third side by getting the um, the maximum value okay, of the x. Ayan. So there are different possibilities of this. So this will be the largest value of the x. So kung meron, meron tayong, mamaya gagamitin natin yung smallest value ng x at largest value ng x to get the range of the possible length ng third side. So, i-apply na natin. So remember po, the length of the third side of a triangle must be greater than the absolute value of the difference of the length of the other two sides. So we will be getting the absolute value of the difference of the other of the other two sides. Since meron na tayong given na measures which are 8 and 4, kukunin natin yung difference niya. So meaning iso subtract natin siya. So we have this uh, inequality, we have x must be greater than the absolute value of the difference of the, of the other two sides. So, by substitution, we can now say that x is greater than the absolute value of the difference of 8 and 4. So, we have x must be greater than 4. So, this will be the smallest value of x. So, meaning, okay, 5 will be the smallest uh, length, possible length, ng ating third side. Since 5 is greater than 4. Yan po yung pinakamaliit na posibleng haba ng pangatlong side. Now, let's take a look for the largest value ng x. So, hanggang saan yung magiging range po natin. So, remember, the length of the third side of a triangle must be less than the sum of the length of the other two sides. So, in this case, uh, kapag ang tinutukoy natin is yung pinaka mahabang 
ha uh, pinakamahabang sukat ng third side uh, it 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 must be less than okay it must be less than the sum the sum of the length of the other two sides so we have this one the inequality x must be less than the sum of the other two sides which are a b and a c so kung isa substitute lang natin siya we have x is less than the sum of 8 and 4 which is 12 so, in, in other words, the possible here is until 11. So, 11, okay, 11 will be the largest value, okay, of the third side. So, yun po. And, kung gagawin natin siya ng ating inequality, ayan, Kung kanina nakuha natin yung smallest value ng x and in the form of inequality which is x must be greater than 4 or x is greater than 4 and yung largest value ng x natin na nakuha kanina is x is less than 12 putting together to form an inequality. We can now say that uh, x is greater than 4 but less than 12. So, this will be the range that we are looking for. So, again, x is greater than 4 but less than 12. So, these are the possible integral length of side BC. So, we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Let's do another practice. The measures of the two sides of a triangle are 11 and 18. Find all the possible measures of the third side. So let's say x will be the length of the third side. So 11 and 18 are the two sides of a triangle. And we are looking for the third side. And it is represented by, by variable x. So, let's have first uh, the smallest value of x. So, to get the smallest value of x, we, uh, we have to get the difference, right? So, it must be greater than the difference of the two other sides. And after we get the smallest value of x, we can also... We need to look also the largest value of x. And how to look or find the largest value of x? We just simply have the x must be less than the sum of the other two sides. So let's apply. So let's take a look for the smallest value of x. Since we are looking for the greater uh the third side must be greater than the absolute value of the difference of the length of the other two sides. So we have x is greater than the, the difference of the two. So we have 18 or 11 minus 18. Ayan. So the first one is actually 11. The second one is 18. So getting the difference of 11 and 18, that will give you uh, negative 7 since it is absolute value so the absolute value of negative 7 is positive 7 so the smallest value of x is represented by this inequality which is x is greater than 7 okay so let's move on to the largest value of x so for the largest value of x we have remember that the length of the third side of a triangle must be less than the sum of the length of the other two sides. So, getting the, getting the sum of the other two sides, which are 11 and 18, we can have 29. So, the x is less than 29. That would be the length of the third side must be less than 29. So, in writing the inequality for the possible range of this, ayan, so we will be using yung ginawa natin kanina. So, ayan, so let's have to put in an inequality. X is 
greater than 7 but less than 29. So the possible integral length for this range of inequality are 8, 9, 10, until 28. So these are the possible integral length of side BC.